What's on your mind? I see that you are struggling. Struggling, struggling. Why wasting time to try to fix this on your own? You said you'd be alright, and around the corner is another day. Good morning, guys. Today I'm at Blythe Beach in Northumberland and this is my second and a half attempt to do the black and white challenge on landscape photography on YouTube UK. Now I say second and a half attempt because some things just don't go right and this is one of them. The first attempt I went to the Ingram Valley in Northumberland Country Park and there was a lovely snow peaked hill and I stopped and I took a little video and I took a few shots and I thought that the snow and the the contrast of everything would just come together really well. It wasn't perfect though, it was a really sunny day, the snow was starting to melt, it was midday already, I'd missed the best time and I didn't have much time. And to top it all, I was starting to get audio issues with this microphone, I think it's the adapter. Now I hope it's holding out today and I have contacted Amazon in the hope to get a replacement. So all in all, I just didn't feel as though the video was worthy of putting up. Um, what I will do, I will show you the few photos that I took from that day just right now. You know you make this so hard, but around the corner is another day. And you will see me fall, but I will wait for you to give it up. Cause there is some little love, little love, little love. So that was the first attempt and then I went on holiday down to Runswick Bay near Whitby, fantastic place and I wanted to go to Sands End and try and recapture the black and white on the groins and the only opportunity I got really was when my daughter was asleep and I took my son down to the beach and the tide was coming in quite rapidly so there's no availability at all safely to vlog, it was just get a few shots, keep my son safe and see what I could do and I do feel as though I've got some nice shots and they would have been good for the challenge but as I say I just couldn't vlog those so I'll show those shots now and let me know what you think below Now I've actually been to Blythe Beach a couple of times before and I've always had in mind to shoot the huts and I've never really got the composition or the image that I've been happy with. So I've always come down and I've shot the groins instead. And you can get some really good images from the groins. But looking along the beach, I've just seen it's amazing for photography. There's the groins which are just here. And then if I swing along to this side, which I've never really explored before, there's a pier type thing just here, a little jetty. And then further down, there's a red pipe. Now I think I've seen that pipe in a few images before but I didn't know it was here. So it's amazing, there's just so much you can photograph here. I'm going to focus on the groins I think and if I've got time I might walk further down but the tide's going out anyway so it's not really the perfect conditions for either the jetty or the pipe. But it's certainly something to keep in mind for the next time. Now I was a little bit apprehensive about coming down here because of the recent storms there was I've seen images online of thousands and thousands of vertebrae just showered across the beach and it was quite upsetting and I didn't want to come down today and just see all the starfish and crabs and everything just laid there um, it would be a really sad scene it looks like the sea's taken that all out now and the sand is a lot lower than 
or it has been of recent years. So there's obviously been quite an effect that the last storm brought on all the beaches around the northeast and up and down the country. Now as you've probably seen in some of my videos, I tend to find strange things, whether it be stoats or just dogs coming up to the camera and saying hello. Today is no different to that. Today I found an old broom. Now, I walked past it and I couldn't just leave it there. I just felt compelled to pick it up. I don't know why and I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I do want to get an image with it in. It'd be rude not to. I mean, this has just been left. It's an opportunity to take that image. So I'm going to keep hold of this and I'm going to shoot the groins just next to me and then take it from there. So I've got a little bit of a dilemma. You see, the tide's going out now and it's quite low down on the groin, so I haven't got much time to play with. Now, the choices I feel that like I've got is that I can get the 70 to 300 lens out and shoot from here, or I can get closer and use the 17 to 50 mil lens that I've got. Now, the reason I think I'm gonna try first with the 70 to 300 lens is I don't wanna to get too close, put footprints in the sand, and then realize that I wanna be further back and take some zoom shots. So I'm gonna try that first. I'm gonna try with the zoom lens, the telephoto lens, if it doesn't work, then I can walk up closer and take those close-up shots with a 17 to 50 and then even maybe get the wide-angle lens out. What I'm hoping for today for the challenge is a nice image of the groins. Black and white, high contrast, not much going on in the background, smooth out seas, and hopefully try and hopefully that will work and produce a nice image. I'm going to also try and get some of the waves because the waves are quite good today and get some freeze action, get some really raw moments in the waves hitting against the groins and see if that works out even better. So let's see what we can get and then we'll go from there. So just looking down where my camera bag is, I just saw a pattern in the sand and I thought it would look really nice in a photograph. Um, so if I just show you now what I'm talking about. I've got my camera bag here. And there I've got the pattern in the sand. I just think we'll make a nice little image cropped just around the stones. A bit of contrast in there. Let's see how it looks. So I've had the telephoto lens out and it's just not going to work. I want to get closer and get the details in the groins. Because that's going to really show the contrast in the grain and the wood and that's what I'm really hoping for. So I'm going to get closer put some CDs under the tripod to balance that out and to stop it from sinking in the sand. Now, I've gone for the cream of the crop today. I've got Now 38 with songs like Chumba Wumba Tub Thumping and Spice Girls Spice Up Your Life. East 17. Wow. Up All Night. And Evanescence Falling. I didn't want to use this one, but I couldn't find a cheesy one. So it's going to have to take the hit. To be honest, I don't think it's a legitimate copy either. So these are going under the tripod. And that's a good tip. If you've got a tripod and you're in sand and the water's coming in, it will sink every time the waves come in and out. Stick a couple of CDs under and that'll stop that. It won't stop it completely, but it will help it a lot. So I'm going to go for a long exposure using the detail in the groin leading up to the little beacon thing at the top just with the water hopefully smoothing it all out in the nice grey skies. Now a few quick tips for doing long exposures as well as using CDs under the tripod feet to keep it steady. Use a shutter release cable. Now that will enable you to prevent camera shake and stop moving the camera. It also allows for longer times during long exposures. Also cover the back of your viewfinder. Now you can get clips that go over them really cheap on eBay and Amazon and things like that. And another good tip is I use the Lee Big Stopper app on my phone and that allows you to put the shutter speed in that you've got without the filter on and then calculate your shutter speed from there. Now that will only work with a 10 stop filter which is what I'm using at the moment. Okay so I'm going to get cracking before the tide goes out. So unfortunately this is a point where my microphone completely cut out and I lost all audio. So what I'm going to do for the rest of the video, I'm going to do a little bit of voiceover, show you a little bit of b-roll and also give my recommendations for the week. Now my recommendations this week from the Facebook group Landscape Photography on YouTube UK is Mali Photography and Podgy Snapper. Now these two guys are new to vlogging and they were inspired from the actual Facebook group itself, which is fantastic 
And I'm really glad that they were inspired by the group because I've really enjoyed watching their vlogs so far. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you um, a quick clip from two of their videos just to give you an idea of their style of vlogging. They're both fantastic photographers and they're really funny and go check them out. I'll put links down below in my description. Please take a look in there, click on them and give them my love. I don't think I'll be doing much vlogging here today. You've got to have balls of steel to do this. We're heading down the other side. Now we're on east side. We'll go west side. I'm quite enjoying this now, looking like a dickhead. You won't believe I've just bumped into. Oh, here you go. Mr. Heaton. Hello. Mali Photography. What a great day. Loads of yeah, great both people. Both videoing, both filming yeah. together, look. Uh, what do you call it? It's 360 degrees. <laughs> Never mind, that's enough of me. I'm just going to turn the camera now so that you can have a look. So once I'd finished shooting the first side of groins, I ventured over to the left hand side towards the lighthouse and there was another set of groins. Now these had no boards in between, it was just posts leading out. And I thought it would be good to get these posts and to get the lighthouse in the background with the waves just going out. Now as before, the tide was retreating so fast, so I really had to move very quickly in order to set up my shot, take it, and then reposition myself as the tide went out. So now I'll show you the images from both sets of groins. I'll start off with the groins on the right hand side as I shot first, and then I'll show you the ones with just the post on the left hand side. Please let me know below which one you prefer and why. Okay, so that's it from me, short and sweet because of the audio issues, but I hope you still enjoyed the vlog. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and if you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like and a comment below. Until next time, I'll see you later.